Hey guys, this is Oracle Daphne. My name is Beth and I'm back again doing your um, mid-April monthly tarot horoscopes. This is for everyone with their sun, moon, or ascendant in lovely Sagittarius. Um, so let me just see what I roll out for you. <clears throat> and uh, But before I do that, the update is um, I am going to be doing my sex and relationship videos, so stay tuned for those. Um, those are going to be coming out uh, prior to May, but they're going to be for May. And I know that I missed April, but um, I'm not, uh, right now my schedule is limiting me because I have so many clients to um, do as much recording as I kind of need to um, and still have time off. I don't really get any time off from both. So um, I'm trying to kind of factor how I'm going to work it because I do get a lot of same day clients and uh, in May I'm not going to be taking any more same day clients. It's just going to be basically by appointment. Um, right now I'm scheduling about a week to two weeks out just so you guys know. So it would be better if you would like a private reading to contact me as soon as possible. That way I can get you on the books and you won't have to wait for too long. I hate waiting so um but that's that's what I would suggest and um feel free to email me Elizabeth Olson31 at gmail.com um and I am gonna be doing a website later on. I'm talking to someone about it and and it's in the works so um that's kind of that's what's going on. So let me see what I get for you guys. I hope things are going well. Again, this is for everyone with their sun, moon, or ascendant in Sagittarius. Okay. So, really, this is a really positive spread. Um, I know that Sagittarius has, has been going through a lot of stuff. Um, in the recent months and I feel like the end of April is actually going to be like I, I guess a turning point for you. Um, you did get the wheel is what's crowning you and so this is kind of why I say a turning point. Things are going to change. It's so funny I'm holding that up and I noticed my picture if you can see in the background I'm pointing to it right here in the background um, and it's also kind of like a wheel um, and it's um it's an oil pastel drawing that I did, and I liked it so much. I put it up uh, along the window so that it was kind of like stained glass, you know. Um, it has a lot of healing colors in it. So, um, so yeah, I guess the, the words would say, turning point, end of April, new beginnings into May. A um, lot of positive stuff. Um, so the thing is, the track that you're on, the only card in here that is, is really negative is, is the track that you're on, the moment, in this moment, maybe you're watching this, um, the 20th, the 21st, um, this is that moment of time where you're a little bit despondent and you're a little bit Miss Lonely Hearts or Mr. Lonely Hearts and you're feeling kind of lonely and sad and stuck. And again, we have that stained glass kind of, um, and that is stained glass, so it's interesting, I'm holding it up uh, next to my picture. Um, so it's that, it's that moment where, you know, you're having a little bit of a meltdown and you're feeling lonely. You're feeling sad. You're feeling like there's nobody there for you. You're feeling like, you know, you're never going to find love. Okay. Um, and you will find love. Um, that's the thing, just the point where <laughs> you think it's all over. That's when it begins. That's when the fun begins. So Sagittarius, do not give up. I feel like I've had a lot of Sagittarius clients who are just like, when is he coming? When is he coming? I want to see him. I want to know who this is. Tell me now. And the thing is, is that I feel like a lot of Sagittarius is do what I call recycling. They take somebody, they pluck them right out of the past. Okay, maybe it was a, someone from high school or... Maybe it was an old boyfriend, and they, they kind of like try to fix it up. They take it to the shop, and they change some parts, and they, they maybe rework it. You know what I'm saying? And then it's this whole new, brand new animal, okay? <laughs> 
But then the same shit happens that happened to them in the past where the guy cheats or the guy says, I don't want this relationship or uh, just kidding. I was just fucking with you kind of thing, you know, and um, could be girl also doing that too to you Sagittarius guys. Um, although I hear this more from the lady side than the guy side in general. Um, so, so that said, um, you don't want to recycle. You want to move forward. You never want to move back. You want to move forward in time, new beginnings, new people. Um, you don't want to take some, anybody that's in your past, like seriously, that's it. Draw the line. No moss. Um, because if you do that, I feel like new opportunities are really on the horizon for you. Um, but let's get back to the spread. So what's crossing you is a really good financial card. And you're going, yeah, but Elizabeth, I want a romance. And I'm going here to tell you what's in the cards. Okay, so let's focus here on what's in the cards is, um, good fortune and happiness. Um, and that is really great. I feel like you need to be grateful for that, okay? So if you're going, yeah, but that's not what I want, be grateful. Take this moment, pause the video, and say, thank you, God, for sending me such prosperity and wealth and abundance and happiness, okay? Um, you can also add in, thank you so much for sending me the love of my life, because that by saying thank you for doing that, they will, okay? So the foundation is the... Legal resolution card. It's interesting because this is very um, weighing things. It's all about weighing things. So Sagittarius, you may have some planets in Libra. Um, you may be dealing with an air sign. You may be dealing with an air sign female, Sagittarius. Sagittarius guys, um, you may have dated a uh, uh, air sign female in the past. This could be Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, okay? So that's the past. It's very, it was very karmic though. Okay. And if you had, um, I feel like in the recent, in the distant past, maybe you had a legal settlement settlement, or you had something, some resolution of things. Um, and if you haven't, um, that's coloring the reading. It may be still on your mind. It may be something that's in the background and you may be thinking, um, that's something that you really, really want to happen. Okay. Um, and things will wind up fair. Things will be fair in the end. And it may not seem fair, but it is because it's karma, right? So karma is always about debts that we need to pay, things that we need to do to right the wrongs of the past. Now, in the recent past, you got the Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles is all about spinning your wheels, going, 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 and then burning out. And to me, that's this classic Sagittarius. Um, however, um, you may be in a relationship with a guy or you were in a relationship with a guy who is a Cancer, Scorpio, could be Aries, Capricorn, Taurus, male, okay? Um, could also be a Virgo, too. Doubt it's a Virgo, though. If it's a Virgo, they have some kind of Scorpio... Taurus, Capricorn in their chart. Um, so you have that. So basically to me this is all about being overly concentrating, concentrating overly too or too much on the goal, okay? Not as much about, you know, taking time to do things that make you happy, okay? This is all about getting things done, wanting to things to shit to get done so badly that you're almost rushing through them. It's like you're rushing through your checklist so that you have nothing at the end of the day. But then at the end of the day, there's nothing and you're dead, basically. You know, you, you've got, <laughs> there's no room in your life for, you know, having that time because you spend all your time checking things off a list. So you need to uh, actually work on understanding that it's more important to actually make the time to do things for yourself um because it doesn't make sense to spend all your time just trying to get to that time at the end of the day where there's nothing because then at that when you do have that time at the end of the day you'll be asleep you'll crash there's not enough left there's not enough energy in the tank um 
So you need to really focus on that. I feel like it's, um, it's not about time management per se. It's about your perspective. It's about the reason why you're trying to check everything off your list is so that you can be free, right? Sagittarius is need their freedom. But because for some reason Sagittarius likes to, to, to get, to add things into their list and likes to get things done, it's created a monster that you and to me, this is, this is the monster. This is this working monster where it's sort of like the Sagittarius is someone who likes to be active, likes to have projects, likes to be go, 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 likes to do things for fun, but they don't realize their limits. They don't realize limits in general. So they'll just speed through. They'll just go so fast and um, there's going to be something that they're going to miss. And generally the thing that they miss is the thing that they want most. What they want most is their freedom. But by creating all these things in their life, they have no freedom. So then they start working on trying to get all these things out of their life so that they can get back to their freedom again. It's a little bit of insanity, if you ask me, to be honest with you, Sagittarius. It's a little bit of insanity. Um, but I get it. So what you need to do is you need to like, instead of being like, I got to get da, 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 la, 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 done, da, la, 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 no, okay? Cross them off. They're already done. That's it. Do one thing and one thing only. And that's it. Do you want to take a ballet class? Take a ballet class. If you don't want to go to Taekwondo or karate or whatever, um, deep breathing, hot yoga, whatever it is, take one class. One a week, and that's it. Don't do ballet and yoga and taekwondo and hang out with the girls and then hang out with the guys and then on the weekends going here, there, the parties and the concerts and the da 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 you know, and the kids all have baseball and soccer and football and yoga and, you know, it's too much. No. Cross them off. Say no. You can't do it all. And if you do try to do it all, at the end of the day, you're going to miss something important. Um, you'll get it all done, but you'll be unhappy. So you have to figure out what it is that you want. And you have to slow down. And you have to do things at like a normal speed. The reason people rush is because there's too many things that they got to do. They got to go to the library. They got to go to the bank. They got to go to the right? It's too many. Try to get one. One done. That's it. That way you won't rush. You'll get that thing done, and then you'll be like, oh, I have tons of time. Maybe I'll go get the second thing done. And you go, and you'll get it done, and be like, oh, okay, well, I got those two things done. Um, I'm going to have to just do some of the other things another day. Um, so enough really about that, but it is a little bit insanity. So cross things off your list. Simplify your life, okay, and do things at a normal speed. Um, so you got the Wheel of Fortune, which is the free will card, which means you're going to need to make some choices, okay? And you're going to need to understand that it's up to you to make things happen, okay? It's up to you because, and other people too, it's up to them as well. So, um, this is the card where it's, it's very difficult for, um, me to break the news to you. Uh, break the news to my clients that the future hasn't been written yet in this point in time in your life, okay, about these situations. Um, there are certain things that have been written, but for you uh, in this moment, it's not, which means the things that you want to happen, say you want to go to, for instance, a Jason Aldean concert, okay, you're going to have to make that happen. It's not where you're destined, predestined, or fated, or any of that to go. And even if you were, you would still have free will, which is what this card is, to choose not to. So in a way, the free will card is all about whether you want to choose it or not. Um, and it's really up to you. So this is, this is the free will. This is embracing your freedom. This is about figuring out what you want, spinning the wheel, and going for it. Okay? If you want to go to a Jason Aldean concert, go, but you're going to have to buy the tickets. You're going to have to drive there. You're going to have to, you know, get someone to go with you and figure out what you're going to wear. Okay. And then you're going to have to go. Um, where's it going with this? 
Let me grab some. I need to grab some water. Hang on a second. Okay. So, in the position of what's the um, soon to come to pass, the immediate future is to me this is the temperance card this is the balance card this is again you've got a strong libra there's a strong libra presence here in your chart or just a strong per person in your life that's libra okay um or gemini or aquarius but i usually see this as libra and this is about finding the balance in your life either you have balance and harmony uh, in your relationship or you don't if you're single, this is emotions that really can go wild. You can be hot and cold. This is why it, you know, if, if you, you can be triggered really fast. Now, typically, you know, Sagittarius can be, um, you know, fiery. They have tempers, you know, they have strong tempers. They have a lot of fire. Um, and there's fire and or water or fire and air here, okay? So this is finding the balance between you and your partner's energy or just your own inner energy. To me, this is about really holding your temper. This is about containing it, about being like, okay, um, I really need to work on my temper and not let the temper get the better of you. Now, here's the thing about emotions and anger um, and getting into arguments. All this stuff, if you have a response or even a reaction to something, typically it's because you had a thought that's under, it's an underlying thought. So what leads to your emotional response is a thought in your head. So it starts off as a thought. Maybe someone calls you fat or ugly. Let's just say as an example. What does that make your brain do? What thoughts are you thinking? Are you thinking, oh my God, how dare they, right? Oh my God, they're so fucked up. Oh my God, they're fat and ugly. Oh my God. Whatever it is that's going through your head at that time, it's like a chemical response. That's what's triggering it. It's the thought. It's not, it's not just... I mean, because emotions just don't appear out of nowhere, okay? It's not like they just, just float out of the sky. It, it, that's how it really happens. That's how it works. So you can be mindful about your reactions to things to based on what people are saying, based on how you feel the conversation is going. If you feel a conversation is going down a path, which you know is going to start to lead to you having certain thoughts and thus your temper getting out of control, you need to avoid it, you know? And some people know how to push the right buttons. Some people know how to push your buttons, okay? So avoid those people, okay? Do not get into any kind of escalational things where, you know, you say something and the other person says something and then you say something bigger, you know, and you just starts to, you know, take a bite out of each other's crime. You know what I mean? It's just, it's not going to be good. Uh, that's how fights get started. So watching your temper, um, mid-April is crucial. Making decisions is crucial. Finding balance and harmony within your emotions. This is, you know, also bottling and then popping. You know what I'm saying? Um, I have talked to some fire signs where they don't know when they're going to lose it, okay? Paying attention to your blood sugar is also important. Getting enough sleep is important. These things people don't really... Drinking enough water is important. Um, they're not paying attention to. And especially Sagittarius, because you're trying to get so much shit done. You're skipping meals. You're, you're staying up to 4 o'clock in the morning. Um, you know, who the hell knows what else you're doing. And you're not really... Um, to me, and it's so funny, her hair is really frazzled and frizzy. And I just think of a very frazzled individual. And she's frazzled because things are not in balance. Because she is not taking care of herself. She's very much focused on her work and getting things done and not as much about having the balance in her life. Okay. So, you know, some of you need to really get a box of granola bars and put it in your car. 
a box of granola, granola bars and stick it in your desk, a box, a, a thing of nuts and put it at home somewhere in a little container that you can always kind of grab, you know, when you get home from work. Something like that will be very, very crucial for you. Take the time to eat. Take the time to sleep. Um, if you're trying to get so much done, it's on your list and you're staying up to four o'clock in the morning, it's not going to help you. In the end, you're going to burn out, you're going to get sick, and then you're not going to get shit done, nothing. And then it's going to pile up, and you're going to get back in the same old routine. Okay, um, enough of my feeling here. So, it's interesting. Getting past this point in April is crucial. To me, the wheel signifies a turning point, signifies things changing for you, getting better for you. Um, having this legal resolution thing is also really crucial for you. Um, having this good fortune and happiness card when you are the Miss Lonely Hearts is really good for you, okay? Um, now, in the position of emotions, you have the Page of Pentacles, who is the student, who is um, a young person, who is the young mother, who is, um, you know, I'd say she's in her early 20s. <clears throat> she may or may not have children. She's very fertile. So be careful if you're sleeping around or if you're sleeping with a partner. I don't really feel like there's a partner here. Um, there is a card about moving um, and it can indicate a partner there. This could be moving in with someone, but typically it's moving and I don't necessarily see it as always you moving in with someone, okay? This typically just shows choosing a direction and moving, okay? So I don't really feel like you're in a partnership. I think part of the problem is part of the reason why I say this because you've got the Miss Lonely Hearts card and this is the this is can indicate divorce. So maybe in the distant past you got a divorce. You're feeling like or you broke up with someone or and you're feeling like when is the real person going to come along and um this is starting new. This is the seed of potential. This is planting new ideas and doing new things. Can indicate a new job. Um to me, this is a, a person who's dreaming of comfort and stability, okay? Dreaming of um, security, okay? Um, and you got to watch out because this beast inside your emotions is can be a jealous beast. It can be envious, okay? It can be a little bit like, why do they have it? Why don't I have it kind of thing, okay? And so you want to be mindful about how much you're lusting after clothes, how much you're lusting after money, how much you are desperate for a relationship. To me, she can be a little bit desperate for security, for that, that feeling of like, um, I don't know, material abundance. And what's crazy is you have, I feel like you have finances, but that's what makes the beast kind of challenging. Because it's not enough okay so you need to get to a point where you're grateful where you're happy where you're uh, saying thank you for your blessings um, especially financial blessings um, and not being like well it's not enough that I have that I really want really want that 3.5 million dollar mansion over down there on Hollywood Boulevard you know what I'm saying um, that's being ungrateful um, for for what you have, and it's not it's not being ungrateful because you want it. It's being ungrateful if you're not um, if you're not thankful for what you're ha what you have. Okay, you need to be thankful. It needs to be come from a genuine place of gratitude, and gratitude's an attitude. So it's you know. It's not about lusting after that three point million dollar house. It's about um, you know having the money to afford it and being in a place of great gratitude and thankful no matter what you do have. That's gratitude. Um, so you have this emotional contentment coming in, which is really great. This can indicate an older person. Um, this is the King of Cups. I think of him as the grandpa. Um, I see this a lot from my grandpa. He could be passed away, he could be a deceased loved one, or it can be um, your grandpa um, that's alive. Um, and it can be just an older male figure, father figure in your life uh, that's really positive influence for you. 
More than that, I think of it as your cup runneth over with positive emotions, feeling good, feeling really content. Um, so to me, this um, beast, um, the green-eyed monster, which to me you have both green-eyed monsters, so you got to watch out for jealousy and envy. Um, over, you're going to overcome the beast. You're going to have um, emotional contentment. That's how I see it. Um, and then you're going to move <laughs> into that $3.5 million mansion. Now, if you move into $3.5 million mansion, okay, message me. I like to hear about this. <laughs> um, you, you may have to invite me to come for a visit, especially if it has a veranda and it has an ocean view and it has some hot surfer dudes. I'm totally going, okay? Um, I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do about a bathing suit later, but, okay, I'm still there, right? Um, and so it's funny. The outcome here for you is the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is the tree of knowledge. This is also, the, the message is um, he or she is going to call you, okay? Um, this is also searching for answers, okay? This is searching for answers and finding them with an older, wiser person. This can indicate a psychic or medium that you call. You may end up calling me um, for advice or contacting me for advice, um, you know, emailing me, you know, I say email me for private reading, um, it's one of those things that the counsel or the psychic or the, um, the answers that you're looking for, you're going to find, okay? Um, I think of this as a counselor, as a therapist, as someone you talk to. You talk out your problems. You talk out your thoughts. You kind of iron out what's going on in your brain. Um, but this is also communications. I find that this is a really, to me, the main thing about this is he or she's going to call because you've been waiting on that call. This is also finding out you got the job. So you have this new stuff happening. You got this, I feel like it's a new job. You're going to move. And um, to me, this is really good news. You get a call that maybe, you know, maybe the call is getting the job. Maybe the call is um a new opportunity. And I'm going to get king tingle on this. So some of you are getting in a really good phone call that you got the job. If, if you do message me, cause that's awesome. I want to hear about that. And, um, I mean, this is really great. This is great stuff. It's about asking someone for advice too. It's that older, wiser counsel, um, somebody for advice, how, how to kind of go on and what you're doing. Um, and this is getting that phone call when you've been waiting for it for a long time. And it's exciting, you know, very exciting. So in general, I feel like this period of time with your Miss Lonely Hearts or Mr. Lonely Heart, because you've got this breakup or divorce happening or half that happened in the past, it's going to change. Things are going to change for the better. And... Things are going to get really, start to get really good, especially in May. I feel like your life is going to shift, significantly shift into something really great, really positive. Um, my guides are telling me to pull one more card just to see, you know, what an overall message is. And you got this nine of um, cups which typically is my one of my player cards, okay? So watch out for the Pisces guys, uh, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio guys, water sign guys. Watch out for them. If you're dating, you're starting to date again. Um, those of you, to me, this is the card about freedom, though. This is dating and being free and not committing, you know? So it's like, I feel like for some of you, you went through a period where you got a divorce, maybe you're finding a new job, you're starting over again, and you may think about dating and this guy may come along. You need to be very cautious uh, about whether if he's married or if he's single and kind of dig deep and find out and research. Because even if he says he's single, um, I mean, I think of this as being single. But even if he says he is, he may not be really single. He may still have someone that he's sleeping with or 
he may still have a couple people that he's sleeping with, or three, usually it's three people he's sleeping with, or somebody that he could call to sleep with at any time. So, gotta watch out for that. For those of you though, I feel like it's more the wealth, happiness, and bliss, the prosperity. I feel like you're gonna get the job, and then it's like all this money is gonna roll in. And, um,. And again, you're going, why do I keep getting financial cards? Why do I get financial cards? I feel like that's what's on the list of things that you need to go through. You know? Um, Sagittarius generally, finances are really usually really good for Sagittarius. Um, I don't usually meet Sagittarius people that don't have some finances. They may be struggling a little bit, but usually their area that they struggle in most is relationships. And why? Because they're looking for passion and they're passionate and they don't always find it. What they find is short-term passion, but not long-term passion. Um, and to me, it feels like you're going to be single for a while, Sagittarius. Um, and you got to watch out for this dude. If this dude comes into your life, be very cautious about um, any kind of commitment with him. Um, just, you know, keep your keep your guard up for a while. Figure it out. Um, and if this is you, Sagittarius, guys, you know, you have may have some Pisces in your chart. Or this is even Sagittarius women. You have some Pisces in your chart. Um, this is you um, being single, enjoying your freedom for a while. Um, so have fun. Go out and have fun. And on that note, I'm going to say adieu. And I will see you... Um, next time for more videos stay tuned uh, and i send you big hugs big kisses and i will talk to you guys again soon okay take care